Hi, my name is Dr. Frank Ergers from Sinus Analogy Wellness Center. Oftentimes I have patients that come to the office wondering why they have trouble breathing when they're sleeping, yet during the day they breathe perfectly fine. And the reason that happens is that inside the nasal cavity, there's structures called turbinates. Turbinates live on the outside of the nose. There's bottom turbinates, middle turbinates, and upper turbinates, and they increase and decrease in size when there's allergies present, when there's inflammation present, or we just may be born with big turbinates that are causing added blockage for airflow. The septum is the divider of the nose in half. Ideally, the septum would be nice and straight in the center, and the turbinates would be balanced on each side, allowing airflow to travel through the nose, and also allowing the turbinates to warm, to clean, and to humidify the air that we breathe through the nose. Turbinates are also reactive, meaning that when there's more blood in the head and the nasal region, these turbinates will increase in size. So think of when we're standing or we're sitting during the day, most of the extra blood that's in our bodies, it pulls in our bellies and it pulls in our legs. But when we lay down to go to sleep at nighttime, now our feet and our belly and our head are on the same plane. So we get more blood flow in the head when we're laying down versus when we're upright, the blood tends to pool in the bellies and the legs. So when we lay down to go to sleep at night, those turbinates may increase in size and it may only be a millimeter or two. Now that millimeter or two, we may not think of that as a big number, but the inside of the nose recognizes that added congestion inside the nose as being very troublesome for breathing. So here at the Sinus Analogy Wellness Center, we can identify those for patients who are having trouble breathing at night. Sometimes it's an x-ray picture. Sometimes it's a detailed view of the inside of the nose. So if you have problems breathing at nighttime, one of the first things that you can do before you even come in to see us would be start salt water wash for your nose. By irrigating your nasal cavity, you're actually eliminating some of the mucous membrane irritants that are triggering these turbinates to become bigger. Another one is steroid nasal spray. Flonase, for example, is a nice steroid nasal spray that does not get absorbed into the bloodstream, but used on a regular basis can help to reduce those turbinates in size. So salt water wash first to wash out the nose, Flonase second, and if you use that on a regular basis before night, we may be able to actually reduce the congestion inside the nose and help to open your nose. If those recommendations do not help, give us a call. We can actually take those turbinates, reduce them in the office sometimes with the procedure that we do right here in the office, helping to improve and enhance sleep quality. Thank you.